Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I still have a cold, it's been a week. It's been a week and a day actually. Still can't walk without losing my breath. Still have so much mucus in my head. I'm giving it to 10 days man and then it better be over because cold should last seven to 10 days. Good morning mama chicken. Just bringing her some fresh food for her babies. Move that up there. I'll get you some fresh water. Sam, it needs to really fix this. <sighs> Sam, if you're watching this, you really need to fix this. Screw it to the wall so that they can perch. Poor little things. Sometimes I like to just come out and watch these chickens. They're not friendly because little Miss Mia or Maya, whatever you want to call her, their mama, actually she's not even their mama. She didn't even make them. She just hatched them, but she makes them not friendly. But they're gonna be super cute. I'm excited about them. My favorite part of having chickens used to be collecting the eggs. Now it's my least favorite thing to do because we have so many eggs. Let's see, do you have eggs under you? Yes, look at that. <sighs> Stealing all the eggs. Oh, that one's broken. So, uh, the reason that I hate collecting the eggs is because we have so many. Like, I, I don't... I don't have any room to put any more eggs. Every day I am freaking out, worried about that little rooster back there. Do you guys see him? That guy. You see him? Every day I have to watch where I'm going because as soon as I turn my back, he attacks me. But he's on his last legs. This is the weekend and then we're gonna go to a big chicken sale and we're gonna take them and see if somebody buys them. I don't even care if he goes for free, as long as he goes. <laughs> she's so cute. I'm just taking out water to the chicken coop to fill their bucket. I thought I'd sit here for a second and see if anybody wants a drink of it first, but they're like, no, we're good. I've literally become the water lady. He's literally over there growling to himself. I think he has Alzheimer's disease. You're leaving, buddy. You're leaving the farm. You're gonna go find some new ladies of your own. What do you think of that? Over there, I don't know if you guys can see, the ducks are swimming in the bucket that I filled up for them. And sadly, two of our ducks are going to the sale as well. We're going to a big chicken sale, hopefully it's big, and we're taking a few of our birds just to get rid of them. Two of our beloved ducks, and I feel so bad about it. Our ducks literally live together as a little flock. They are all good together. Even though we have three boys, they never fight. They don't abuse the girl. They're like best friends. They're like family. And this weekend, we're gonna take two of them away. Unfortunately, I do know that as they grow, the likelihood of them never fighting and then being kind to the one girl that we have is gonna increase. With any luck, we can buy some more female call ducks at the sale and be set up for spring. But our big goal is to get rid of the animals that we can't have, that we can't keep, which is usually roosters and boy ducks. Dude, chill. Why you gotta be so noisy? I saw some of the craziest comments ever this week, you guys. And I, I don't know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to understand it. Like, I understand people just trying to be mean and lying and making up stuff to be mean and hurtful. But what's really confusing is when I show something so specifically and then people kindly tell me the opposite of what I've shown. So like, for example, someone messaged me and said like, you are doing a terrible job giving the animals water. Like, obviously the pigs are not getting enough water because our pig tipped his water one time. 
And it's just funny to me because I literally have shown me, even though we have automatic waterers on our property, I've shown myself placing water buckets strategically all around our farm to make sure that our pigs always have the opportunity to have fresh, clean water. I go out three times a day and do waters for the pig. And they each have a full pool that I fill every other day so that if they don't want to drink from their fresh water buckets, they can go to the pool and drink from that. But people see me not having enough water. Or I saw a comment that said, you don't have enough time for an emu. All I do in my life, I hardly even ever leave the farm, is go around and take care of my animals. All I do every single day is spend time with my animals. I don't know what people think farmers do with their animals, but I can guarantee you, rarely do they spend as much time with their animals as we do. In fact, you can tell that we spend a lot of time with our animals by the way our animals interact with us. Most farmers don't have turkeys and chickens that come and sit on their lap and hang out with them and surround them and love them. Most farmers don't have pigs that run to them squealing because they're so excited to see them. So to me, those are all in good indications that we do have a lot of time to spend with our animals. I noticed that Storm is missing a bell boot. That one's broken. This one's not. Okay, he's all fixed. <laughs> but honestly, like, it's so good to see comments like that and it's so good to see people say stuff like that because when people say absolutely such untruths, you can't even feel bad. Like, it doesn't, you can't even feel bad. You can't take it personally. You can't, like, if someone said something that was like, if somebody uh, criticized you for something that you already felt bad about or that you already felt like you were falling short in, then you would definitely feel bad. And then, and then they would probably feel vindicated that they made you feel bad if that's what their intentions are. But when people say crazy stuff, it, you can't even feel bad. You can't even feel bad. I can't feel bad that I go around and spend so much time with my animals. I can't feel bad that I spend so much time giving them water and I even show it. Like saying that we don't or that I don't, how am I supposed to feel bad about that? If you want me to feel bad about it, think of something way better, man, because <laughs> Making up a lie and then wanting me to feel bad about it is just, it can't happen. I, I just, it really teaches you about the kind of people that you give your energy to. But anyways, I don't want to talk about all that. That's just dumb. But what I wanted to tell you guys about was Sophie's riding lesson last night. So super fun. I'm glad to be back at the barn because in our little outdoor arena, she doesn't... She isn't able to like build up stamina out there, you know, it's like small and her lessons are short. They're like a half an hour because it's just her by herself. So she doesn't build up stamina. So poor lady was soaked within like the first 10 minutes. And that means that we have to do a smaller lesson. Like we don't want to push her too much. So it's good to be there so that she can build up to like a full hour lesson. So we're looking forward to that. You guys, I can only go from <coughs> one place to the next and then I have to sit down for a few minutes Whew, to catch my breath that's how crazy this cold is anyways so her lesson was so fun one thing we don't know about lady like I was saying yesterday we don't know like can she jump she can't jump she's a big heavy footed horse so it, it's not natural for her so Sophie wants to really like start practicing the jumping she's had her for a few months we've been going so so slow we haven't been doing really any jumping, just some cross rails, maybe like four times. And last night when she went there, that's all she did was some cross rails at the end of her lesson. And it was a shorter lesson because we're still building her up, but she is showing cross rails. So we wanted to practice cross rails. So we practiced cross rails. And at first it was, it was like, she like stumbled over a couple of jumps. She plowed through a couple of jumps. like. She does genuinely doesn't understand, and that's don't even come for me. Once Lady knows what Sophie wants from her, she does it. Like she's amazing. Like I love that horse, but she doesn't get the jumping yet. She just doesn't get it. So through the course of her doing these little tiny jumps, she only did it like maybe she only did like maybe six little jumps, and through the course of her doing these jumps she literally you could see the light bulb go off so it wasn't like 
uh, uh, the light bulb didn't go off and then all of a sudden she was this great jumper. No, because she still likes learning and these are cross rails so she doesn't really have to jump to get over them because she's so tall. But she finally started to try and like lift herself up over the jump instead of plowing through them. And even though it's something so, so small and something so minor, it's such a huge win for us because it's the beginning of the start. Like it's the beginning. It's the beginning of her figuring out how to jump. And the other thing that I want is that um, the thing with Lady is that she's not a jumping horse. She was never a jumping horse. She wasn't even a riding horse. She was a cart horse. She pulled a cart. And when you pull a cart, you use an entirely different set of muscles. You don't push from behind. It, everything is different for a cart horse, everything. And so we're taking this cart horse and many people have done this before us and we're trying to turn her into a hunter. And um, will she ever be an amazing hunter? Probably not. Will she ever be an okay hunter for Sophie to just go to schooling shows and stuff on? Probably. And we're really excited about the process and we're excited about documenting the process so that when she is better, we can look back and be like, yeah, remember when Lady used to just plow through the jumps? And the problem with all of that even though it's fun for us <laughs> in the world is that a lot of people out there will <coughs> see that moment in time where ladies plowing through the jumps and they will only see the bad stuff they'll see that her her back end she doesn't engage her back end at all very little yet that her back end is weaker than the front end because she was a cart horse and all her power came from the front um, they'll see all those things and they'll just judge her and, and say unkind, mean things. But I just want to tell you guys that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when people take judgments from a snapshot in time. What matters is the whole journey and the whole process. And that's a huge thing. It's huge. Like, I, I want to document it and I want to share it because... I want you all to know, or anybody who's interested, or who anybody who's struggling with this, to know that it truly doesn't matter where you are right this second. It's the whole journey that matters. And one day, Lady and Sophie are going to be hunters, and they're going to look normal. She's going to look normal going around that ring. And it's just a process, and it's a slow process, because we take two steps forward, and then we end up going back a step. Right now, Sophie's practicing with Lady to slow her down, because she likes to she likes to go and that's going to be a long process we know we did it with Finn and that's okay it's the process that matters it's the journey that counts and it's how you act within your journey it's having grace and kindness letting the journey unfold in the way that God intends for it to happen if everybody just were planted here on this earth already perfect none of us would be here there would be no journey Anyway, I just wanted to share Sophie's riding with you last night and talk about that. So, what did you think? She's actually starting to like, she doesn't know how to jump. Let go of the bit before you do that. Or hold the bit, that works. <laughs> Thank you. She's like, I'm so itchy. She is sweating like crazy. Interesting enough. So she's never jumped before. She doesn't understand the jumping. She just hops over the poles. Like she just steps over them. And what happened tonight? She tripped over them all. Yeah. And then she jumped over them all. And then she learned to jump. She's I'm not touching those again. Yeah, so she's her jump is not professional by any means. I but she's jump. she yeah, and she, she jumps it. Yeah, she's getting it. She's actually getting it. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the